Hey folks, it's Bill from Swift here and we're going to talk about canoe trim systems today. Look at all the beauties here. We're going to give you an in-depth look that to each trim system to help you to decide which is the best for you. Let's go at it. Here is a beautiful Kiwaden 16 and Kevlar Fusion sapphire blue and we're going to go over our standard aluminum trim finish with you now. It starts with a neat outer gunnel that has the shape of a wood outer lip on it. It goes on the outside of our laminate and then we have an L bracket piece that goes on the inside. So our aluminum trim finish is a two-piece gunnel system and when we clamp and rivet it together, it gives you a very tight seal so debris doesn't get caught up in the inside of the trim over time. And it also helps prevent wall rippling that you see on some other boats in the industry. Now we complement the beautiful aluminum trim finish with ABS end caps and we drill a hole in the end of them so when you turn your boat over after a paddle the water will drain out of the end. Now the aluminum trim is a very neat finish. It's very maintenance free. It's very heavy duty. It does conduct temperature through it. On a very cold day it's cold to touch. A very hot day it's very hot to touch but many other positive attributes to it. We complement the aluminum trim with aluminum handles that we put in with stainless steel rivets. We'll go down the boat here. So right where we put the seats again, we have a rib wider than the width of the seat. We rivet in the side of them with aluminum L brackets Structurally, it's an incredibly solid system. In the old days, we used to hang L brackets from the gunnels. Every stroke you would take would put pressure on it, and over time, the rivets would wear out. This is something we developed through our rental operation. It's so much stronger and so much longer lasting. Now, the seats have a nice wide frame to them, and they've got a nice gentle curve to them. They're a laminate ply of cherry and maple. They're absolutely beautiful. Let's come down the boat here, Joe. Right where we put the yoke, we put a really big wide rib in here so it's got lots of pressure for your thighs if you're flipping a boat up. Now we build these beautiful cherry yokes ourselves in our wood shop where we make the beautiful badger cherry sassafras walnut paddles. We've got a CNC machine. It's a super cool process where we build them and finish them. When we install the yoke, it's the absolute last thing we put in. We balance the boat perfectly before we install it. So when you flip it up on your shoulders, you've got a boat that's going to be really easy to carry. On the undersides of this, we put a metal backing bracket on every single yoke that we build. It's something, again, we've learned through our rental operation. It means that 15, 20, 25 years from now, your yoke is still going to be solidly part of your boat. So let's come down here. Nice wide frame in the stern seat. It's got the nice angle to it as well. It holds your derriere in the right shape. This is one of our flotation chambers with the float tank plug on it right here. So this, the tanks are primarily air. Air expands and contact, contracts with different temperatures and this helps neutralize the pressure. So let's talk about a few other options that you can get with the aluminum trim. On the Prospector 15, it comes standard with our bow versus seat. It's also an option that can be ordered on the Prospector 16. We also do a kneeling thwart that's really wide. It's about 18 inches behind the yoke for people who don't mind solo paddling in the traditional manner where you're kneeling. 
Another popular option with the aluminum trim boats would be a bow sliding seat, which would have a bow thwart going across and a real neat sliding seat system in it. We also do a number of them that have an additional center seat. Often we'll do what's called the kid seat, where we put it right in front of the yoke and we turn the yoke around backwards if you feel that balance position would work really well for you and your family. Or we do what's called the solo seat, where we put it 20 to 22 inches behind the yoke and put it right in here. Again, with the aluminum L brackets, it's a real neat system. We also can install the kayak foot braces for the stern position. We can do an aluminum foot bar if you really like to have something to press your feet on. So our aluminum trim finish, guys, super durable, maintenance free. It's a real practical finish for boats. And you can see the finishing touches we do are absolutely beautiful. All Swift boats are beautiful. Here is a Prospector 15 in the Kevlar Fusion laminate with a beautiful sapphire blue finish on it. This has the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim. On all of our carbon end caps, we drill a hole in the end. So again, when you turn the boat over, water will drain out of it. We put handles, all cherry interior standard, stainless steel hardware for every fitting piece. Now the Prospector 15, comes standard with the bow versus seat, which is wider. We put it flatter and we angle both bars. In the front one, if you're kneeling, this doesn't dig into the back of your thighs at all. If you're solo paddling, when you're facing the stern, this bar is angled so it doesn't dig into the back of your thighs at all. This is a super cool option. Standard on every Prospector 15, an option on the Prospector 16s. Let's come down the boat. Here's a beautiful cherry yoke, again, built in house. And on the carbon Kevlar trim, we put the metal bracking, backing brackets behind them as well. Coming down the boat, you see how wide framed the stern seat is. Super comfortable position. Again, it's got the float tank chambers on the inside of it. Now, all of our carbon Kevlar trim boats have what we call the side pods on them. They are bonded right to the interior surface, right at a ribbing structure. They provide incredible structural integrity to them. If you try to move this seat, it's very difficult to do so. Now, here's a special note. We've designed all of our seating systems to comfortably handle paddlers up to about 250 pounds. If you may weigh more than that, we can build for you. It's an option and we can write the order up this way. What we call expedition durability seating system. We make the ribs a little bit thicker. We make the seats a little bit thicker. We've had a 375 paddler buy one of our boats and he was super happy with the strength and the durability. So if you're in that category, let us know. So beautiful carbon Kevlar trim Prospector 15. Okay, folks, it's time for Canoe Anatomy 101. We're going to dissect this beautiful boat right here and go over it with you. So let's start with this. This is a sample piece of our carbon Kevlar trim, which we mill the foam to a particular shape. And then when we build the boat, we have a sock that goes around it. It gets put in the mold first before anything else does. And then as we build the laminate, we bring the layers of the cloth up the inside of the boat. When we infuse this boat, it gets all infused is one structural part. When we pull the gunnel out of the mold, the boat comes with it. There's no secondary bonding adhesives. Now let's go over this super cool beauty right here. So again, you can see the carbon Kevlar shape here, and this one has the black carbon Kevlar trim on it. You can see the laminate here. 
And the guys have cut this out right where a ribbing structure is. So you can see the thickness of the rib. There's three layers of cloth right here with it. And guys, this is our old interior finish on Kevlar Fusion, the gold cloth. This shows you our foam core, how it comes right into the end. And it shows you how we butt the ribs right into the core and then how the rib butts right up into the gunnel system. It provides a really rigid, stiff skeleton system, so to speak. And the key to it is, it all has elasticity. When you hit a rock, you go over a beaver dam, it's got flex to it without cracking, without crunching. Now this sample also shows you pretty cool how we build our float tanks. So the float tanks are air tanks. We have a pressurization valve that opens and closes on it. So if I'll pull it out right now. This is we put in after the canoe gets pulled and we put the float tanks in. And Joe, let's show them right here. Our carbon end caps are designed to fit tightly right around the gunnel right here. It's a super cool way to finish them. So folks, I hope this little model has given you a little bit better understanding of how we build our boats. And let's go over a standard carbon Kevlar trim build now. Here is another beautiful carbon Kevlar trim boat. This is a Keewaden 16 in the ruby finish in Kevlar Fusion. It's, got a, it's a demo we've had around for a few years, so she's got some beauty marks and character marks on her. So like the other boat, Carbon end caps, cherry handles. What I really wanted to show you on this one is this one has the bow sliding seat option, which is the option we do on the aluminum trim finish as well. It's really good if you have paddlers that vary a lot in size. My gale's half my weight. She loves taking the bow sliding seat, moving it all the way up. It makes it narrow and easier for her to reach over the sides. She can put her feet right on the float tank. She feels like she's in a more secure position. Kids really like that position as well. It helps you adjust how level the boat is in the water. Now we talked about the side pods with the last Prospector 15. Here is a sample of them. We custom design these for every model we do because every boat has different curvature to it. So when someone orders a Prospector 16, it may have different side pods than a 15. Now this is the ones that we use with the Kevlar Fusion finish with the beautiful Aramid fabric. Then we also have these right here, these Basalta Negra Comingo ones we use for the Expedition Kevlar and Expedition Carbon Laminate. And then here are the granite ones that we use with the carbon fusion laminate. And folks, these are so light, these may float away. We've got to hold them down right here. Super light way to install the seats, very structurally sound. When we do the sliding seat system, we have little miniature side pods for the carbon Kevlar trim canoes. If it's an aluminum trim boat, you'll put a little aluminum L bracket there. Going down this boat, let's show you another really cool option. This has what's called a detachable kneeling thwart, which you can unscrew right from the side pods and take right out of the boat. This is really popular for folks that may want a tandem boat for most of their usage, but for time to time to want a solo paddle. Keewaden 16, beautifully set up this way. Here is a beautiful Prospector 16 combi, sapphire blue, Expedition Kevlar laminate, and this baby has a bunch of options on it that we want to show you. Starting out with, we have many folks want to get the universal mount package on our tandem canoes. On our 16-foot canoes, if we're going to install it, we need to put an additional bow thwart on to do it, but we're happy to do so. On the combis, the bow thwart comes standard. So this is typically how we do it with three mounts right here. 
Now this particular boat also has the carbon foot bar, which is an option, which can either be in the solo position like it is on this boat. You can also get it in the stern position. Now on the combi canoes, the yokes are not standard. So you can order them with a detachable yoke. Very handy option to have if you're going to be doing some portaging. Now this is a super cool option, guys. This is the multi-height seat pods on one of our combi canoes. Note how wide we make the seat right here. It makes it super comfortable to move over to the side a little bit. This particular one, we've developed a magnet and a pen system that I can very quickly pop out right here and I can lower it down to the bottom position of the boat. If you want more stability, you can get a GCI sit backer chair, super comfortable for people that want to fish or if someone just wants to sit low and read a book, whatever they may want to do. And also, very quickly, I can just pop the seat right out of here and it makes the boat lighter and a little bit easier to portage. We can put the yoke back in. It's a great tandem canoe for day paddling for tripping. And let me show you the foot bar. Mike from Badger Paddle has developed this really cool system where he's got an interactive paddle sizing thing. We're just in our showroom floor. This one has a 34 and a half inch shaft. So I can see what a paddle this length will feel like in the boat. So what I really wanted to show you is this boat has the optional carbon foot bar. So what's neat about the foot bar is that I can put my feet right in the middle of the boat. I can put one foot on the side. I can move over a little bit. Our boats with a very high bilge on the side with the, the, the widest point being carried way up. I can lean it over super comfortably, making it a little bit easier to solo paddle. When you paddle, when you really want to load your weight, it's a windy day, you've got to get there. When you put your weight on your paddle, if you push on your feet, it gives you a lot more leverage with every stroke and really allows you to get a little bit more efficiency when you paddle. So if you're going to be doing a lot of solo paddling, the carbon foot bar is a neat option to get. Some people used to putting a child, a dog, a fish tackle box in front of them may get the kayak foot braces where their seats are going to be more on the side of the boat. But again, it's a comfortable position. Both are great options with Swift Canoes. Here is an option that's popular in our Kiwaden 17 and 18.6 in our Prospector 16 and 17. It is a kid's seat that we put right in front of the yoke, very wide frame so the kids can move to the side or you can put two side by side. And we turn the yoke around backwards. The seat can either be permanently mounted or it could be detachable. We do it both ways. And another cool option with those boats some people have us put the solo seat, which is about 20 inches behind the yoke, so you can still get your legs under the yoke. And again, this can either be in a detachable version or a permanent fixed version. Now, this is a really cool option. This is a sassafras detachable yoke. The cherry yokes weigh about two and a half pounds each. The sassafras, you can see, has really cool grain to it. These weigh about a pound and a half each. It's an extra $100, but for some people, every pound counts, and some people love the look of the grain on these. Okay, folks, here's something super cool for 2024. Our carbon tech packages, in which we put all carbon interiors in our canoes, have gotten a whole lot lighter. We're building all of these parts now in an oven with epoxy resin. And Matt has developed some super cool, super light ways of doing these. These seats are about a pound lighter each than Cherry is. So it's really reduced the weight. Our tandem canoes now are two to three pounds lighter when you get Carbon Tech package. 
Our solo canoes are about two pounds lighter. Now, we also have a super cool way that we make our carbon handles, our carbon thwarts, our carbon yokes. They're made with two-piece aluminum molds that we put together. The parts are all hollow and they're super, super rigid and super, super strong. Our yoke is a really cool shape that we make. It's really got a lot of texture to it. This too is made with a two-piece aluminum mold. It's made much the same way a monocube carbon bike frame is made, where we build the part in two pieces, the molds get put together, We've got a special tool that goes in that mats the cloth back down. We blow a bladder into it, and then we slowly infuse the resin from one end to the other. We post-cure bake it with epoxy resin at a high temperature. Carbon tech package on a swift canoe, a super cool option to get. Here is a Prospector 15 in carbon fusion with the granite finish on the outside. It's got the black carbon Kevlar trim on it and it's got carbon tech package. All the interior pieces are carbon. So it's got the carbon end caps, it's got the carbon handles. Now the Prospector 15s come again standard with the bow versus seat so we've tooled it up in carbon as well note how far it comes to the side when you're solo paddler you can move from side to side if you're tandem paddling the bow paddler has some movement where they can move around both paddlers if they're kneeling it's very comfortable this bar doesn't dig into the back of your legs at all it gets complemented with a carbon yoke, which we put in with a carbon backing bracket. This beauty right here weighs 30 pounds in carbon fusion with a carbon tech package. Ooh la la, I want one of these. Here is one of my personal favorite boats. This is a Kiwaden 17. Expedition Kevlar with the beautiful ruby finish on the outside. This is one of our demos, so it's got marks and stuff on it. But this particular baby with the black carbon trim on it, with the carbon tech package has some super cool features that I think people getting this model should really look at. So this particular boat has the carbon bow sliding seat. We shape it like our wood slider. It's got the angle to the foot bar. It's got the wide back on it. It can be moved way forward. It's got the angle to the front bar, so if someone's kneeling, it doesn't dig into the back of their thighs at all. Super comfortable with people with different big weight disparities. Now on the bow thwart on this one, this has the universal mount package where we can put two or three mounts on it, whatever your choice is camera equipment, fishing equipment, GPS mounts. Going back down this canoe, we put a piece of foam on all of our carbon yokes. Many people also get our foam pad accessory, which Velcro's on, which has super thick foam that we use in our pack boat and kayak seats. It's super comfortable, it's what I use. This also has the mount package on the stern thwart where we put two mounts on it. We could put three here if the customer wanted. This also has the carbon foot bar on it. This is our older version of it. Our new one is easier to take the pins out and to adjust. And note in the back of the boat, the stern seat's got a very wide frame to it. So it really moves to the sides nicely. This baby is set up the way virtually anybody would want a Kuwaitan 17. Cheers. Hello, hello down there. Anyone home? How about this, folks? A Kuwaitan 18.6, an Expedition Kevlar. Beautiful finish, black carbon Kevlar trim, carbon tech package. We call this boat the limousine. I did some really incredible day paddles with my gal and her parents last year, 
and let me show you some of the options that we absolutely loved on it. So this particular boat has the carbon center, what we call kid seat. And this particular one is detachable. I can take it right out if I want to. The yoke was turned around backwards on this boat. You can also get the solo seat. So this is in the solo position, it's about 20 inches behind the yoke. The four of us could paddle super comfortably in this boat. And then also it's got the stern carbon foot bar with our new pin system, which is easy to pull the pins and adjust it. This baby is set up absolutely beautifully. We had a lot of fun with this boat. If you have four people and you want each person to have a comfortable seating system with how wide frame all these seats are, whether you get it in the carbon tech package or the cherry, they're the same width seat. This is an absolutely beautiful setup and a great way to keep your in-laws happy. Cheers. How about this boat? This is a beautiful Prospector 15 Kevlar Fusion with a moss green gel coat on the outside. Again, this will not have the UV shield on it, but it's got a very high quality, flexible marine gel coat. Now this particular boat has a very popular option. This has the cherry outers in the carbon decks on it. I grew up in a camp where we had cedar canvas boats with a beautiful cedar ribbing and planking, nice ash gunnels on the boat, beautiful cherry decks on them. I love the look and feel with the boat with a lot of wood on it. This is a way of getting a look of the beautiful wood with the outer gunnels where if you rub your hand against it, it's got this nice outer lip on it. Without the weight, the cherry trim boat is going to add 8 to 12 pounds to the weight of your boat, depending what particular model you have. So this is a lightweight version of getting the wood appointments on the boat. We complement the cherry on the side of the boat with the beautiful carbon end caps on the end of it. It really pulls the package together nicely. Now when we build these boats, we do a flat on the carbon Kevlar trim when we pull it out of the mold, and then we epoxy the cherry onto the sides of the boats, and it's got the nice outer lip to it. So if I'm flipping the boat up, I've got something to grab onto. It also helps deflect a little bit of the splash and spray away from the boat. So a carbon Kevlar trim with the cherry outers, Carbon deck might be the right canoe trim choice for you. Here is a beautiful Prospector 15 that a customer in Western Canada ordered. It's got the beautiful cherry trim finish on it. This is an Expedition Kevlar. It's got the beautiful ruby finish on the outside, the black internal skid plates on it. And Joe, let's show them here. When we do the cherry trim, we've got the nice outer lip to the gunnels and we plug the end of the boat to make it real impact resistance. And then it's just a beautiful finish here. You can see the nice scuppers on the cherry decks. All the hardware we use is stainless steel. All the screws we use to hold the gunnels together are put on from the inside. This is the combi version, so this has the bow thwart. And this customer actually ordered this with the detachable seats, the quick change seating system. A great option to have for a combi. It can be set up as a solo boat where you take the bow and stern seats out to make it lighter for when you're by yourself. When you're tandem paddling, you can put the tandem seats in, take the solo seat out. Or you can have a really cool three-person boat to paddle. This cherry trim is absolutely beautiful. We do a dozen or so a year. If you absolutely love the look and feel of wood trim, this is the way to go if the 8 to 12 pounds, the 12 pounds being for a key weight in 18.6, 
lighter as the boat gets smaller. That additional weight is not a big deal to you. These boats are absolutely beautiful. So which trim system is going to suit your needs the best? I hope this video really explained to you what you can do with our boats. Please call our 1-800 number. Talk to one of our dealers. We'll help put together a beautiful boat for you so you can enjoy paddling in 2024. Cheers.